So it's been a while since I've put up a video, and I guess that's what happens when you go to dental school full time and you try and have hobbies at the same time. It just uh, kind of eats up a bit of your time. Um, but yeah, there's the bike that I post most of the time. This is the one that I ride around. I did install some lights onto it, which is kind of fun. Uh, it just kind of gives me a little bit more protection at nighttime when I'm riding around, make sure nobody runs into me. That's always good. Um, or when I'm riding early in the morning when I got an exam. I uh, also work as sometimes on kids' power wheels. I got those, run them off with some lithium batteries. Nothing special, just some 14.8 volt batteries. It's just like your Turnigy uh, 5 amp hour ones. They were, last for about a half an hour that way. Right now I'm charging this bike up to 92 volts. Um, just cause, felt like having a full charge. Um, but this one over here, let me turn off this light here. This is a CR80 that I am going to convert. Um, that is a zero electric motorcycle motor that I got a hold of. It's used, um, but uh, it should be able to put out somewhere around 81 horsepower max. I'm going to be putting probably a Sevcon. Um, Gen 4 size 6 on there, so that means it can do a max of about About 660 amps I believe and I'll be running it at about a hundred and a hundred volts So that should give me a theoretical 90 horsepower or something like that. It, it won't be near that of course I mean, it'll be an efficiency of about 60% at max power. So Even still we're looking at you know beyond 450 motorcycle uh, level power in this little bike so what I gotta do is I gotta figure out how I'm gonna fit about 600 of these cells onto the bike these were those really cheap ones that were on eBay um, that uh, they came out of those hoverboards um, so they're about a dollar 25 a cell which is pretty stinking cheap um, I've run some tests with them in the power wheels and stuff like that. They work all right. Um, they're not super great, not the greatest capacity in the world. But uh, yeah, if, if I think if I, you know, pretty much if I drop down, if I take out these little welds here, drop this motor all the way down, create my own custom brackets to mount into those, and maybe create a giant plate so that I can hook up also uh, a few more other spots here create a box that basically houses batteries all the way around here and then up underneath the seat here a little ways up to the top and then kind of down so that the bars can still move around like normal build out as if it you know where we're the gas tank uh, I'm gonna have to figure out how I'm gonna make that look nice because I really want this bike to look like an original CR85 you know would like to use the plastics or maybe even the plastics for some of the newer years when they actually had the, uh, the little scoops on both sides. But if I can do that, I mean, we're basically looking at a little CR80 motorcycle that'll have somewhere around 40 minimum, uh, 60, 70 horsepower max, and uh, it would do zero to 60 in, I don't know, like 2.5, 2.3 seconds, if I can keep the front end down. That's a pretty small tire. Um, I think it'd be pretty cool to throw some uh, throw some uh, supermoto tires on there and uh, get it street legal. That would be absolutely awesome. But uh, we'll see when I get around to that. I kind of have to get rid of some other bikes, like uh, this guy up here. He's just sitting there. I need to get rid of that one and sell him off. And uh, maybe the other one that I have back behind my other bike here. But yeah. Um, you know, I'd, I'd like to get going on that bike. It's going to be crazy. Um, this guy here just isn't quite fast enough for me anymore. It has a max speed of 70, which is cool and all. But, um, yeah, I don't know. When I can use all the power it has, it just loses loses, loses my interest, I guess. <laughs> Anywho, hopefully I can get going soon.